the closing moments here. Three to six games. I said the one beginning winner. of the end. Yeah, one winner. The end is nigh, and it starts on PS2. Cloud, Cloud Strife versus everyone's favorite robotic operating buddy. Who's going to come out on top? We'll find out in just a few moments. A few moments? Eh, maybe a few games. Yeah, a few moments. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at the pace of this, good lord, it's going fast. All right, okay, what are we going to see here? No way. He going went in so out deep. there, but just out there enough, saving the jump after that cross slash to be able to find the way back. Limit or no, Del not able to find the hit to gimp him, so instead just going to reset. And Carflo knows he is taking no quarter this game, Swiss Rider. He is finding that pressure any way he can through the movement, through the hitboxes, through the sheer fear factor, and you can feel it in our bones right now. If Cloud keeps going that far down low, he might as well just change his name to Fog. And the world's smallest violin plays the immediate cross slash out. Trying to catch Fawn, Dill jumping in, almost said Fawn, but instead the only thing he's going to catch is a gyro to the face. One stock down, Dill trying to push towards that reset. Carlo feeling less measured than he did in game one, right? Playing a lot more aggressively here. Yeah, I mean, Dill has had a, you know, a couple sets to think about what to do differently. Carlo maybe is feeling a little not warmed up, but hold your horses, second stock. That was a clean back air. Listen, Cloud having a clean back air is like Mario mi Mario rinsing you off, right? It, it's bound to happen. True. All right, Gyro maybe creating some space. The cross slash. He just sweet spot grounding spike, like forward air into the cross slash into the jump lead down air. Carflow is covering up and cleaning and taking. Up, oh, sorry, he's covering up and cleaning out shop. He is just playing at such a speed with his decision making right now that I feel like we see even from very few cloud players just the pace of play that he is approaching at. Yeah, I think this comes from his experience with Roy, where you can just be an explosive player. Okay, and Limit is almost online, and here it is, a little faster, a little stronger. But what are they going to use? Finishing touch? I'm going to say finishing touch. I think he's going to look for it. I think we're going to see the blade beam. <laughs> oh! And it's going to get reflected. Sw it's Ryder. He's been, it's been his mainstay all week, night long. I get why he went for it there after all. Right? We said he did. But. Don't want that good. so bad. The rotor arms for the reflection. Mm. She knew it was coming too. The whole world knew. Yes. And now it's Dill's chance, right? We've seen Rob, we've seen Dill even take these stuff. No! But the shield break off the reflected gyro tragedy strikes. Dill, Dill doesn't even look affected. And oh, never mind. There's a sigh. Like, I feel like that <laughs> might be the one game. Yeah. That, like, I feel like that game was Dill's to win. The way it started off, right? The pressure. Or she was a little bit behind, but then she just came roaring back out. And it felt like, okay, maybe Dill has this one in the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think winning that first game, I'm like, okay, we'll see the reset. But Carflow taking game one like that, the stocks he took were off one interaction. That down air, that whole, that whole ledge situation was just absurd. Yeah, and we're going to, oh, man, that shield break is fantastic. We're going to Smashville. Like, I think this is going to be better. I, mm, no. I think this is one of those stages that is so terrifying. Because, yeah, if Rob wins neutral, takes that first stop, you have to get away and reset. That's scary. But once you do, how does Rob take the stage back from Cloud here? Well, yeah, you kind of have to break into that little house you can make underneath mm -hmm. the platform. And you, But you have the best anti-air in the game, arguably, with that up air to prevent it. And, all right, Gyro. Ooh. And you don't have the space to get away. Gyro's less good here, but so is Blade Beam. And that is two for two in the set. Carful maybe a little shook, being like, I don't think I could just throw that out freely anymore. Dill has the timing, has the reaction, and a climb hazard to maybe save their skin there just for a little bit. Yeah, holy moly. I don't think Carflow is going to be thrown out of Blade Beam anytime soon, my friend. Nope, we're just going to go for the cross slashes, and you can't reflect that, can you? Or can you? Don't, Let's not don't, find out. D I think <laughs> Dylan is going to invent a new game mechanic to find a way. <laughs> the cross slash, no, just the climb hazard to find a way back went a little too deep the first time. 
But the back air, bad a swing, bad a home run out of the park. One more stock to go for car flow. Or sorry, two more stocks to go for car flow. Oh, but needs to be careful. It doesn't become one for Dill. That percent is climbing. And Limit is online. He's going to look for a spike here, but not confident. Just resets for the ledge trap. However, Limit's about to run out and has to pull out that blade. Being Dill going to find the hit and just the reset. All right, this uh, gyro actually really helping Dill out whenever they're on ledge. And, but Carpool has been trying to get that uh, delayed forward air where it just hits the gyro and uh, maybe trying to catch a get up or a jump. But Dill has been very patient with those and a very good up air takes the second stock. Now it's time to camp. Yeah, if you're that, but that's the problem with this stage, Swiss, is you don't have the space to camp. Yeah, you've, yeah, you've got that house. But Cloud doesn't care as much as a lot of the rest of the cast does about it. Yeah, it, he's an eco-terrorist. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need a house. Doesn't care <laughs> okay. about yours either. <laughs> Holy mackerel. We are... I... Swiss, I love you. <laughs> oh, you do. <laughs> oh, that was a forward smash. All right. There we go. Rotor Arms taking that game. And uh, yeah, we're one game closer to a reset. Yeah, Swiss, this is the game that's going to prove us all right. That's right. Or wrong. Wait, no. <laughs> Are, is Carflow going to win? Is Dill going to win? Are you going to be right or am I going to be right? Dill, 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 Dill. You know, I want to see more. Here's where I'm standing. And the part of me that wants to be right because it's funny. Yeah. I want Dill to win. Oh. In the part that both of them are my friends, I'm sad to see either of them lose. Listen. In the part of me that wants to see more Smash Bros, give me th give me three more games, please. When it's a choice between listening to your head and listening to your heart, listen to your stomach. And my stomach says, Dill's got, got what it takes. My stomach says I want a bagel. But I'm in Chinatown, so what do I do? You can get a, uh, a bagel with some sesame seeds on it. Well, no bagels in Pokemon Stadium, my friend. The juggling is out as Carvalho tried to find that forward air, send that, send it into an offstage scenario and potentially a stock, but Dill not going to give it to him. So just the pressure resetting the cross slash, going to find a shield poke. And it's not often you see Rob unable to land, but Carvalho is making it look easy. Yeah. I mean, Dill was forced to just air dodge back onto the ledge, and they're just covering everything. And now you have the no limit way. to cover. He just went for it. But that might potentially be a huge downside, because now right, Car Dill has an opening where Carflow is down the resources, down that movement speed to keep the pressure going. And that's where she can start to bring it back. You don't care if you're at 100 or 150, because it's kill percent either way. But the max rage means that you're going to come back into this one a little bit faster. Oh my gosh, really good coverage with the rotor arms. He might just be dead. Yeah, he's he dead. dead. No, what? what? He, limit! He charged the limit when it mattered most. This is how Dill you know he's a real cloud player. would only be a memory, but instead, and Utilizing the resource management in a way that would make Final Fantasy VII players proud. Dildo answering back, calling out the jump. Just like that, we have an even game. She's not going down without a fight. All right, but she does have to get back down to the stage eventually. Oh, a nice little jab, but that climb hazard every time. And you always know it's coming out out of shield, and yet you can't do anything about it. And shout out for SDI out of the climb hazard there. Take notes, people. It's not invincible. Okay. More limits. Maybe the Blade Beam once more. Very yeah, nice gyro. Pressure with that gyro in between. Blade Beam not going to heal poke, but it is going to set up for the forward air. Carvalho pushing the advantage. A very creative cross slash usage here. And spe just general special usage to boot. To continue the onslaught. Uh, he is very much playing Cloud like a Roy player, right? Always holding forward. But it's working. Because he's thinking. He's just not holding forward. He's using that brain of his. That's what you're going to school for. Okay. I think you've blown half of chat's minds, Swift, by <laughs> telling them that it's possible to do both. You can do both, folks. It's okay. You can use your brain. Oh, oh, oh. The snipe no and way. the snipe back, oh. the blade beam. If that had killed Carflow, I think I think we could just simply get rid of blade beam on his cloud entirely. <laughs> exactly. There's no way he would risk it again. Now going for the <laughs> single direction there. 
Air Dylan shot. It's Dylan get back to ledge, but not getting on the corner. The drill again, but she's calling out these fast matches. Curveflow hasn't been going for it. We saw it in winners. We saw it here again. Now Dill one stock left. Limp Blade online. Blade beam out. That's a lot of damage. And the jungle racking up Swiss. This game is etching to a close. Dill trying to lengthen it by any means possible. Yep. Oh, this is still not it. Magnet hands. What are they made of? They're made of hopes, they're made of dreams, and Carflo really wants to win their dream to be a many-time champion. She used the, the, her shield to extend so that the forwarder would hit top, which extended it again, which allowed her to get the grab. That was so smart. All right, one more interaction for possibly taking Xeno 316, but Dill hoping to reset the brackets. Rob is heavy. Rob's got hands. He's a big Robot boy. Hands. And you know what they say about so big is that boys, back it's hard for them to die, but jumping into the blast zone, Swiss, just oh, like that, God. it's over. Is it bad to say that I uh, I did my second life savings on this one? Is it bad to tell you? Is it bad to say something else, Swiss? Go for it. I told you so. Damn. Damn. My God. heart. My soul. My but garlic like, roll. Watch some of this pressure. Carflow calling you out with that back air on the top. On the Atomic, and also his swings through gyro at every opportunity were so good. But, right, like, even here, utilizing the gyro to, to create the pressure, blade beam coming out, sure, it's a reset, but then calling you out on the gyro shot. See, he waited for the shot that was delayed and still called it out. Carful is a player that can seemingly be in all places at mm -hmm. once. You see it with Roy, you saw it with Krom, and now with Cloud with a sword that literally can be all over the place. Well, he's just identified every little piece of lag mm -hmm. that Rob has anywhere in its kit. And that's because you don't just have Dill in this region, you also have Zomba, right? You have to know the Rob matchup like the back of your hand. Mm -hmm. And so Carflow, it felt like in that set, the difference maker was just the pace of play that he's had to learn from playing Roy, combined with just, he knew, okay, this is what every little animation for this character might look like. Here's every little place they might have lag, from gyro toss to picking it up an item, to the charge cancel, to the charge start, like it didn't matter what it was. You, the Carvalho, you could see, reacted to everything. First couple frames. Knew the Tabahawks. Knew where Rob's blind spots were or in relation to his hitboxes with certain timings. So he could position himself in places that you look at and say, oh, that's unsafe. But then say dash four, he would, he would position himself there and then dash in slingshot back air because the way his hurtbox shifted when it moved danced around what Dill's option to cover him was. Just beautiful micro-spacing, beautiful awareness of the matchup, and beautiful game knowledge was just overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Very good stuff from him today. Yeah, no, Carpool has really stuff. shown us and proved to me that he's a cloud main at heart and in play. Sorry, Roy. Sorry, Krom. There's a new sort of But you know the town. thing? At the end of the day, yeah. it doesn't matter who Carflow's main is. Roy's my boy. Goodbye, everybody. Wait, we're not going to do any Wait, cards? We're not going to do any right, cards? Right, right, okay. oh. <laughs> yeah, we have ads for you folks. We've got ads, people. And us to plug, too. Yes. But speaking of Swiss, you know what you should check out? Be the group that makes all the magic happen, House of 3000. You can find them on tw at twitter.com slash devin3000 or tweet out hashtag free HO3K to help them get their Twitter back again. You can find them at house of 3000.nyc slash blue sky for their blue sky account twitch.tv slash house of 3000 where you are right now for the best action every week in and out for the new york smash scene or on youtube or over on discord to get up to date updates on where they've been what they're doing and what's going on in the fgc yeah, and every single week you can catch us right here. You're watching Xeno Weeklies every Wednesday. $15 in total to enter, hosted by who we just spoke about, House of 3000. It's what you're watching right now. And if you want to grind out your game and get better, always come and here. they've been doing $1 buy-in extra brackets the last couple of weeks as well, giving folks an opportunity in Redemption who are, who are out of tournament to play a Redemption bracket with stakes on the line, Ooh. right? So it's not just... Okay, you're playing, it doesn't matter, it's just glorified friendlies. No, there's, right, you gotta be there, you gotta show up, you gotta commit that $1. It's not much, it's cash only, but 
it will it can make all the difference for the stakes. Yeah, my it, friend. You O tours, you too can go O four. While we're talking about grinding, you know. Xeno is not the only place you can grind here at Xeno Zero Gaming. You can also show up on Mondays for bombs. Tell First, us about it, Swiss. Well, bombs is the ultimate grind fest. 64 player cap, no pools, only $10 to enter, and you get to play all the friendlies you want. Smash Brothers Ultimate, 7 p.m. It's quad stream, so you still get every single set, uh, every single friendlies of record. Not every single friendlies, but every single set is recorded, unless for some reason we get 40 entrants. Mm -hmm. It happens. <laughs> But, uh, you know, you definitely want to be coming out, and every other week, you do also get Street Fighter VI, so if you're like, I like Smash Brothers, but I want more FGC, well, then this coming up Monday, you will get to play Street Fighter VI. But I think now that's going to be the end of it yeah. for us. Where can they find and you, Ritual? I was going to say, you can find me on Twitter at RitualCasts. And this weekend, you should I will be down in South Carolina Whoa. at Rock the Hill 2. It's a regional hosted by CJ Frozen. Don't know exactly what channel it's going to be streamed on, so I can't plug that yet. But you can follow my Twitter for updates. There's going to be Lima. There's going to be Dark Wizzy. There's going to be Pimna, Regolo, the Lucas, and okay. more. So it's going to be a fantastic fantastic C-tier event, large, projected largest event in North America this weekend. Y'all should check it out. In addition, if you're looking for local New England Smash action, check out Mash Harder happening this Saturday as well. Cass always works to put on a great event. When it's going to be top eight on the broadcast is going to be hey. Winters, who used to cast here at Xeno and Hazmat himself. So check it out. New England always has great events and a great scene. Got to plug the homies. Support, support. But Swiss, that's enough for me. Where can they find you? Well, you can always find me on Twitter at Arnie Hermes as well as Blue Sky, same handle. I will definitely be retweeting out your stuff in order to get more eyes on the prize there. Retweet, we skeet. Gotta go. Right, we skeet. Let's is that what we're still calling it? We're still calling them skeets. Yeah. On oh, Blue Sky, absolutely. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Did uh, you not know they were skeets? Dad? I don't know, I don't like that. Not one bit. Skeet skeet. Oh yeah. boy. <laughs> skeet skeet! This is what happens when the platform's first large community was transformed. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I think that'll be it from us. I've been Swiss Rider. I've been Ritual. And folks, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.